Hey guys, it's me, again. And what I want to do is I want to bring something to your attention if you have the if you have the WWE Network in, on, you know, on whatever device you're watching it on. I don't uh, know what what device you have it on. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I want to bring something to your attention that. Uh, Maybe you've noticed, and maybe you haven't. I'm going to give you an example of, of what I'm talking about here. Okay. In WCW Starcade 1998, watch the part where Eric Bischoff is getting ready, is, is coming out to be interviewed by Mean Gene Okerlund. Now, listen to the music that's being played... When, you know, when that happens. Alright, I want you to do that. Then, listen to the music that, that's being played when Eric Bischoff comes out for the match against Ric Flair later that night. Now, do you happen to notice something different about them? That's right. One is the music that's is, is is the music that's supposed to be played because it was because it was the dubbed over version on the network, and the other one is the actual music that is the music that he actually has. But I'm guessing that Vince didn't want to. I'm guessing that Vince or whoever it was they hired to do the to do the dubbing over on the network. I guess I guess that. I guess that idiot forgot to, you know, forgot to check to make sure that before they put the pay-per-view on the network that, uh, you know, <laughs> that they actually had put the, you know, dubbed over song on the network in all places where it's needed. Because I've noticed this a few other times. Like, okay, take... Ravishing Rick Rude's entrance music, for instance. His music on the network has been dubbed over, has been dubbed over to where it's, where it doesn't even sound even close to where, it, to where it's supposed to be. Anymore. Yeah, and, and again, I'm not sure if Jim Johnson, you know, was working for the, for the WWE back then, back in the 1980s. I don't know. If he was, then that song should be, then that song should be, should, should actually be, should have been allowed to be on the network because that was their creation, right? Right. Now, the music that's, that actually plays, you know, is, well, actually, here's an example, okay, I'll give you a, I'll give you an event to watch on the, on the network with his music in it. Watch um WrestleMania watch the WrestleMania 5 Intercontinental Title Match Ult Ultimate Warrior versus Ravishing Rick Rude. Watch that match and see if you notice something different about Rick about Ravishing Rick Rude's mute entrance music. Yeah, you might notice it doesn't sound quite right. Yeah. You might, and, oh yeah, and, uh, again, there's some other, there's some other, you know, songs they had to dub over on the network, which I really don't understand why. I mean, what, did Vince not want to pay for the licensing rights to these songs, like, DDP's entrance music in WCW? I mean, Jesus Christ. Christ, man. And Hollywood Hogan's, which was Voodoo Child, I believe, was, I believe it was called. Yeah. But yet, you notice in the WWE video games, DDP's music, when, you, when he comes out, it doesn't sound quite right. It sounds like his WWE theme. What they what they forgot to put in his his network dub version of his WCW music. 
So, again, I don't understand. I don't understand why they did that. I mean, was there a lot? Was there a reason? Or was WWE just a just a bunch of cheap shut, but bunch of cheap bastards, and they just plain forgot? So yeah, again, watch the watch the WCW Starcade nineteen ninety eight video video when Eric Bischoff is getting ready to come out for his interview with Mean Gene Okerlund, and listen to the music that's being played. And then when he, then when he comes out for the match itself against Ric Flair, listen to the music that plays, and tell me you don't notice a difference. And listen to and if any any of you remember what Rick Rude what Ravishing Rick Rude's music is supposed to sound like, remember that, and then and then listen to it on the network. Yeah, then tell me you don't know. Tell me it doesn't sound just a slight bit different, <sighs> guys. I just wanted to bring this to your attention, you know, just in case you guys uh didn't, in case you guys hadn't uh, already figured it out. Oh yeah, and Chris Jericho's music got had to get dubbed over also on the network. I don't know what song they were actually using, you know, to. I don't know what song they were actually using at the time. But, yeah. So, if you guys have, uh... If you guys have enjoyed this video, you know, feel free to... Feel free to, uh... You know, press the like button. Comment down below. You know, if you guys can think of any others. Of any other, uh, you know... Songs that had to be dubbed over on the network, or or if you want to make any comment, other, any other comments, you know, feel free to do so. That's your that's really up to you. <laughs> and uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't done so already. And and of course, click that bell and share this video around if you feel if you feel the need to. For those who, yeah.